What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make an opening cinematic and then change into the gameplay inside Unreal Engine. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is actually place our character in the scene and not making it spawn uh, from the player spawner. Uh, so to do this, we can just go into third person blueprints and just drag it into the scene. And we can just apply the rotation and stuff that we want to make it start. So for example, I'm going to face it this way. So we can basically delete the player start. We're going to be using it. And now if I press play, you will see that um, I'm still not spawning with my uh, play that I signed. This is because we have to select it and in details panel, we have to basically search for pound. And then in uh, auto possess player, we're going to put it in player zero. So now it will uh, assign it into the first play controller. So now that we go, it's actually working. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is uh, create a level sequence. Now I do have a more detailed tutorial about this. So if you want to check it out, uh, I will be, uh, be linking a link in the description. But now let's go ahead and add our level sequence. Let's go up here, a level sequence, and now we can save it uh, whatever we want. In my case, it's good here. And then this is gonna be the intro sequence. So now you can see that we have a timeline um, uh, down here in the screen. So we can start placing things. So first of all, we have to add a, our camera. So just go up here and quickly ask your pride. Go into all classes and just type camera. And now we're going to be using the Sydney camera actor because it has more properties than the normal camera actor. Let's go ahead and just click it and then it will be spawned on here. So now what we can do is select it in the outliner and just drag it into this blank space uh, in the timeline and then it will be added and we can go ahead and control it because we are piloting so we can just go ahead and kind of get a cool position cool angle there we go and we'll be adding our first keyframe so make sure uh, the like the time is at the start and we're going to be adding a transform keyframe just click in here this is what uh, a keyframe for the location and also the rotation of the camera so then we want to go into the end and we'll have our camera be placed around here. So now we'll basically add another keyframe. And now if we go at the start and press play, you will see how we have a really cool camera sequence literally made in two minutes. So now what we're going to do is go on shift S to basically go ahead and save everything, of course. And what we're going to do is uh, make that our, you know, it will play automatically and then uh, it will finish up. Um, so we can close our sequencer and we can right click and stop planting the cinema camera actor. So right now if we press play, you will see that nothing happens. All right. So there are two ways of, you know, making it uh, play automatically. So we can select it in the, the inter sequence that is in the scene and we can just say auto play and to make sure it's in down loop and if we press play, you will see that it basically will start. Uh, we can move the player, which is something that we will control. And then we are instantly um, back playing the game. Okay, so to control all these things, what we're going to do is open the level blueprint. Just go up here and open level blueprint. Basically, we're going to have a reference of the intro sequence. So you just go ahead and click it. I'm going to go here and then right click and create a reference to the intro sequence. Now, I'm going to be playing it from here, so we have a bit more control instead of using the auto play on here. So I'm going to disable it and go back here. So now we can get a property, which is uh, play sequence player. Uh, so it will get the component on the sequence player and then it's going to be playing it. So I'm going to add a begin play node. So it will do it at the start and actually with that and just double check that auto play is disabled, it should play the animation. So uh, let's control that now we cannot basically move our player. So at the start right off we play, what we're going to do is uh, cast to um, the third, third person character, which is our player. And then we're going to get player character. And then we're going to get from it and then disable input. And now we compile and save and go ahead and press play. You will see that now I cannot move uh, the player. But of course, when it finishes, I still cannot move the player, which is the thing that we don't want. So uh, basically to do this, what we can do is make a delay um, and basically, um, you know, enable it again. Uh, so the delay has to be exact of the sequence player. Now I do have a trick. 
and it's basically to get the sequence player and we can get the duration and now we can just go ahead and drag it into uh, the duration over here and then we can just drag from here enable input and there we go so now we can compile and save press play you will see that I can't move but when it finishes the intro I will be able to move again and uh, it has the delay with the exact duration of the opening scene so that was it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful I really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials so if you want to check them out go ahead leave a comment with other Unreal Engine 5 tutorials you want to see and with all I said bye bye Oh, 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 oh,